Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are continuing our playthrough of Choo Choo Charles. If you don't know what this game's all about, it's about a giant spider train inhabiting an island, and we were enlisted by a character called Eugene to come and try and defeat this train. Eugene died right at the start of the game, but he gave us a train which we've been upgrading with new weapons and armor, as well as doing side quests for the various inhabitants of the island, trying to take down Charles. Now we have to collect up three eggs to do so. By collecting these three eggs, we make Charles mortal and therefore killable. We got one of these eggs in part 1 as well as doing a slew of side quests which gave us a new weapon in the form of a flamethrower. So in part 2 we're going to be continuing with more side quests and more story missions, trying to collect up those eggs and defeat Charles once and for all. But for now let's continue our adventure as we dive back into part 2 of Choo Choo Charles. And here we go, this is exactly where we left off, the game actually auto saves like all the time it seems, so we can just quit out and come right back to where we left off. And uh, let's have a look at our map to start with guys. So. First of all, we do have a side mission I missed back here, which is an optional mission for an unmet NPC. So I actually want to go back and do this. I might just backtrack and do this right at the start. So I think what I'll do is reverse the train all the way back. We'll do this mission and then we'll try and do this mission for Tony and then head up here and continue with these missions up here, including a story mission. Right. So let's get on the train and let's reverse it. There we go. Kind of forgot the controls there. That's the stop one there. This is the reverse. This is the go. Now, as you can see, we have been upgrading our train. We don't have enough scraps to upgrade it anymore at the moment, but I do want to increase the speed next, I think. If we see Charles coming, we've got a number of weapons to fight against him with. We've got his flamethrower. And, of course, we've got a green train as well, guys. I made the train green, so it's like a frog train. Made the joke that it's like a frog train fighting a spider train. So we're heading back this way. I actually want to check our map one more time. Just make sure we've marked the right NPC we have. As you can see, we're going along the track. This is quite a big open world. We haven't actually explored this area of the map yet. But we did explore all of this area in part one. So again, if you haven't seen that, go check it out. Okay, let's stop the train then, guys. Seems like a good place to stop. And then we could head up this little path here to the NPC, which is over here. Hopefully Charles doesn't get us as we make our way to this guy. Because he can be anywhere at any time, you know, just waiting to spring upon us. As spiders do, I suppose. We're kind of like the fly trapped in Charles' web. Right, here we go. NPC. He's way out in the wilderness in this little hut by the marsh. Oh, or she. It's like a witch. Well, hello, darling. Elizabeth Merkwater. <laughs> That's a good name. I'm making a fresh stew with ingredients from my very own swamp. But I don't have any meat at the moment. Wait a second. I actually think I named this character. I remember that on Twitter, the developer was saying, what should this character be called? And I'm pretty sure Elizabeth Merkwater was the name that I uh, suggested. So that's kind of cool if that actually ended up being in the game. I'll put a like tweet on the screen right now, guys, if it, if it was correct. I might be misremembering that, but I'm pretty sure this is the name I suggested for the character. I smell a carcass on the island in the swamp, and if you wait over there and bring it back for me, I'll pay you some scraps. Although... You'll need to be wary of Barry, the swamp monster. Well, that doesn't sound good. A swamp monster. Keep an eye out for him splashing around. And don't move if he gets close to you. As long as you stand still, he's as kind as a kitten. So we've got... Is it Barry, she said? A monster living in the swamp? It seems like we avoid Barry by standing still in the swamp. I'm just going to check her... Like a little, I call it an apartment, it's a cabin, isn't it? Check her cabin for scraps, which we've done. We've also got a note. Tasty, yummy stew recipe. Swamp water, salt, clover, dirt, salt, meat of any kind, human included. Haha! <laughs> and salt. Oh, that's kind of a bit weird, a bit dark, a bit morbid. So where are we going? We're going here, guys. This is where we want to mark. That's the middle of a swamp. We need to dive into the swamp water and hope that Barry doesn't get us. All right, so to the island in the middle. Let's go. Let's hope Charles doesn't come as well. Now, do we see... Oh, my God. We got killed already. Minus three scraps. This is actually tricky. 
All right, round two. What do you got for us, Barry? We'll dive into the water. Oh, he's coming. Look, I can see him now. So, yeah, we can see him moving about. He's going away. He's coming back. So we stop again. I got it. And he goes off that way. So let him go, and then... Oh, that was close. Where's he going now? So we can turn the camera still, we just can't move. He's going right that way. Oh, he's coming back, he's coming back, he's coming back. Oh my god, he's so close. We can only see him by the splashing of the water. Right, he's going, he's going, he's going, let's go. Oh, man, this takes time. you got to be patient. Oh, it gets harder as well. Because... Hey, we made it. I was going to say because, like, um, he disappears at times as well for closer to get to the island. So, yeah, that's tricky. But we've also got to the island now, and we've got the giant fish. Um, return to Lisbeth Murkwater to complete your mission. Okay. Let's get the scraps on the island, of course. We don't want to miss them. Hopefully, she gives us a bunch of scrap as well for completing this mission for her. Go on, Barry. Off you go. Off you go. Off you go. Nice. Almost. Almost had us, but not quite. Right, let him go one more time, and then we run to the shore, I think. Go, go, go. Yes, we made it. Okay. Let's go back to the witch, to old Lisbeth. What a delicacy you found. Here are those scraps I offered. Have a safe night, little one. Thanks, Lisbeth. A character I named. That's awesome. All right, so uh, she's going to dump all this stuff in her stew pot. I wouldn't want that stew. I'll just say that much. I think what we'll do now is head back to the train. So let's bring our map up and see if we can upgrade once more. Okay, back on the train. Let's check it out. Ooh, 55 scraps. Nice. So we'll jack up our speed a little bit. I guess, like, weapon damage would be good to increase. We just need one more scrap, and then we can actually enhance something else. Okay, so Tony... Wait, I think that's Charles, guys. I think that's Charles. Is it? Yep, Charles is coming. Okay, we got a Charles battle. Get ready. Here he is. Uh... Oh, wow, the um, flamethrower really, uh, really runs out of steam fast. Come on, Charles. This is good for slowing him down, though, even though it's not very damaging. Sets him on fire, look at that. Uh... Be gone, foul beast. Look at this. We're getting him. Yeah, boy. You want some more? Huh? You want some more? Guys, I'm going to try switching weapons, actually. Let's go back in. Switch to that weapon. Ah, uh, there we go. Look at that. Yes. And off he goes. Screw you, Charles. We win this time. Well, as we've gone up this way, we might as well uh, take stock, see where we actually are on the map. <laughs> oh, no. We've gone up this. I don't even want to go this way. So we need to back up and then go like this way. I actually wanted to go back to the barn, but we've missed it now. So I'll just loop around another time. So yeah, we need to back up the train a little bit. Should be somewhere, a junction. Yeah, a junction is here. We need to go up this track. So let's stop it. Switch these. There we are. I also want to see if we get scrap for defeating Charles, like if that gives us any extra scrap. No, I don't think it does. We didn't even get hit that time though, so we did pretty well. A good one-two punch with the flamethrower and of course the um, machine gun there. Got a note. Unloading all the supplies has been an incredibly eye-opening experience. Here at the port, we've been working all day, every day. We are tasked with unloading the boat and running supplies at the hilt of the tracks, where Theodore and Eddie deliver them to the different sites we'll be mining. 
The sheer cost of all this infrastructure is mind-blowing. With all the success Warren's family has had in their business, I'm surprised he's choosing to take such a business risk. Hmm. Taking those risks. What I love about this game is you just continuously upgrade. Yeah, we have enough to upgrade. We could upgrade speed, which I'll do. So there we go. We level 8 speed. We level 8 for everything now. Only two more levels, I think, till we hit, like, the max level. Okay, so our next story mission, guys, is going to be over here. We've got a weapon mission and a story mission. So we'll do the weapon mission first. Get a new weapon for uh, our train to take the fight to Charles. Okay, here's our destination. Let's stop the train. Perfect. Disembark. And let's see who's lying in wait inside this cabin. Oh, I like that. Was that a minigun? That looks like a minigun, doesn't it? Or is this a rocket launcher? Maybe it's a rocket launcher, actually. Paul asked me to design a new weapon to help you hunt Charles. And using my extensive demolitions experience, I made this rocket launcher. Ah, oh, it is a rocket launcher, guys. I've been wanting to see Warren's empire crumble for a long time. So building this puppy was a hell of an opportunity. Now that you're here, I need a few minutes to remove some safety features. While I'm working on that, why don't you bring that box of rocket ammunition back here from inside the bunker down the rail? Alright, so this dude wants rocket ammunition from the bunker. Is there anything else in his little cabin though while we're here? Gonna have a little check around for that. There's a note. I'm stuck debating if Warren made us bring our families to this hellhole so we'd never need to leave or to keep information about his business practices away from the mainland. Either way, I want that man in a noose. Paul asked me to design a new weapon for the monster hunter that Eugene is sending, that's us. And knowing what I do about explosives, you can bet I made the most powerful rocket launcher I could. Warren won't stand a chance. They keep referring to like Warren. I wonder if Charles is actually Warren, like the spider train is actually like a version of Warren, who ran this mining company, or if he's just, you know, not shown up yet. So where are we going? Let's have a look. Oh man, it's actually out of the way a little bit. Hmm. Well, before we do that, we've got another character over here. Is this? A st I think that's the story mission, so we'll do that next. Let's first head over to this. We'll get our new weapon. Oh, we got a... What's this? A gravestone? Maybe that's his family buried under there that he said he brought to the mainland. Maybe they died to Charles, you know? That'd be kind of morbid. But I think we'll take this path up. It seems to lead to the mines or the bunker that we need to go to. And we just have to hope Charles doesn't show up. We did just defeat him, so I don't think he will. Got a sign that says explosives, so we want to be careful here in case there's like landmines or something. Also want to look for those patrolling like cultists. Ooh. Was that dynamite? I think that was dynamite, right? A pack of dynamite. Oh, wait. Do we need it for the door? Yeah, we put it on the door. Okay, back up. Boom. I shouldn't have stood so close to that. I didn't expect it to blast so much. Oh, we just set the minecart down the track. Oh, we died. Damn. Respawn at the train. Man, that's miles away. <laughs> Okay, so we've got to be really careful while doing this section because it seems like if we're anywhere close to... um. The explosives going off, then we just, you know, instantly get blown up, essentially. Okay, so... Now we need to set this off down the track again. This time I'm going to get all the way out of the mineshaft. That still hurts us somehow, that's nuts. And... I think this is what he wanted, rockets. We've also got a note. Rocket launcher ammunition testing. Version 1 failed. Version 2 failed. Version 3, 13 second flight. Version 4, success. Okay. So, I guess we just head on back now then. That was pretty easy, that mission. The missions in this game are very simplistic. Don't know if I'd say like it's a necessarily like a negative, but it does mean that there's not much involved in each one. You know, you pretty much talk to a character, go to a thing on the map, and then just like collect something and then bring it back so we want to go in here and give this guy his stuff 
The launcher is in complete working order, so I'll let you take it from here. Oh, and take good care of it. The boomer. After you're done, I have a few people to visit with it if you catch my drift. Yeah, sure. I catch your drift, dude. You're gonna do some bad things. Now, this is called the boomer, which is kind of funny, because, you know, it's obviously a reference to uh, the older generation there. <laughs> Ooh, look at these scraps. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try out the boomer. This has damage full, but it is very slow. But look at that sucker with the rockets equipped. And also, we have 18 scraps. We don't actually have enough scraps to do anything with. So, we'll just head forward and speak to the next NPC on the map, which I think is a story-based one. She resides here. Just wanna check the downstairs. That's locked. I wonder how we get into these doors, because there's gotta be a way. Unless there isn't. But I, f I assume there's a way. Look at this dude. Just chilling. You're gonna catch a chill, man. I I'm sure Eugene told you all about me, so I need not introduce myself. Okay. He didn't? Uh, n name's Greg, by the way. I in case you haven't heard already, Warren, the mine boss, is keeping three monster eggs locked. <laughs> We're unsure why he wants to protect the eggs. If they hatch, they would surely turn into monstrous creatures like Charles. To prevent this, we, we need you to steal all three and, and use them to bait Charles so we can destroy him. Uh, one, one of the eggs is, is in the North Mine. Uh, here's, here's the key to the entrance. Hmm. Yeah, so it seems like the mine owner is basically trying to hatch more Charles's for some reason. Like, he seems to like bringing doom and gloom upon this island. So we need to get the eggs so that they can't hatch, essentially, and then that will lure out Charles so we can defeat him. And where is this? Wow, that is miles away. We might as well do the other NPC optional mission while we're here then. Because, you know, the other one is, like, right across the map. So we need to go over here. Take these paths. Again, I just hope Charles doesn't show up while we're doing all this. Is there anything in this wilderness? It's hard to know sometimes if there's like secrets off the beaten path, and I assume there probably will be. But we're going to a lighthouse next. Look at that. Ooh, what's this? Is this a fuse box? Looks like we need fuses for this. Got a woman in here. Let's speak to her. Looks like she's broke her leg. We haven't met, but I've heard lots about you coming to help us. I have a favor to ask. The breakers on the side of the lighthouse need replacing. I was recently attacked by Charles, so I'm unable to do it myself. The breakers are in the nearby supply shed. If you go get them and repair the lighthouse, I can try signaling passing ships to come help us. Once you finish, I have some spare scraps to give you. That's cool. Surprised you actually survived Charles, you know? Because Eugene didn't, he died instantly. But well done. So, there is a note in here, we'll read that. So this is the Ocean Watch Day 68. Please deliver a copy to Paul, and she's called Claire, this character. I went outside to do a routine check of a lighthouse, and as I walked around the corner of the building, I saw the beast, Charles. He spotted me and charged straight at the hill in my direction. The spider train is a hideous monster. I can't understand why Warren wants us to stay on the Anoranium instead of trying to escape the beast. I suppose Warren has simply gone crazy, thinking he can handle this situation all on his own. In any case, Charles ran right over me, trampling my leg. I won't be able to attend the upcoming meeting, and I have asked Greg to bring back a copy of our notes if possible. Okay. So yeah, Warren seems to be controlling Charles in some way, or maybe not controlling him, but certainly covering for him. Oh, they're here. They're really close by. Alright. So we need to go here. Seems simple enough, right? Just down the hill? By the water. There's a breaker. Oh, there's four. They're just, they're all here. Okay, cool. That was easy enough. So, let's go back up to Claire. Let's give her the uh, breakers. Put them into this box. Boom, 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 boom. Turn them all on. Oh, it's a puzzle. So, this one first. Then this one. 
Okay, this one, this one, this one, this one. Done. I think that's... Yeah, it's turned the lighthouse on. Look at that. Whee! That's awesome. Okay. Now we speak to her again, get our loot. Fixing the lighthouse will definitely increase our chances of being spotted. Here are those scraps I promised. Sweet. So now back to the train, I guess. Right, in we go. Let's upgrade. 61 scraps. Nice. So I reckon we do uh, weapon damage. Let's max out weapon damage. You know what? Boom. We got an achievement. Heavy hitter. Now we just need to do armor and speed fully. But we don't have enough scraps of those yet. Okay. So. Let's take a look. Oh, there's the journal mission that we needed. So we need to kind of do that one. What I might actually do then, guys, is back up down the track, do this mission, then back up again and deliver the journal. So let's go back. So far, a good episode, I think. We've done some good missions so far. We've uh, upgraded our train some more. I'm definitely still enjoying this game. I think it's really, really good. And, oh, we had some scrap there. I just missed it, though. Never mind. We've got a lot of scrap as it is. But I wonder what happens with scrap when you fully upgraded your train. You know, I wonder if anything at all happens. If it's just useless then, or if we can do something with it still. Right, here we go. Just, uh, you know, letting them know we're here by uh, pulling that cord. Hey, you're that monster hunter. Sasha. Hey, Sasha, how's it going? Like your hats. I must know, do you have any experience with ghosts? Uh, not really, apart from horror games. <laughs> Someone or something has been pinning exactly 16 drawings to lampposts in the boulder field every night. I always collect and burn them, but as I was looking for them last night, I began hearing strange noises and seeing strange things. I only found half of them yesterday because of the commotion. Could you go find the last date and bring them to me? Oh man, we got a ghost mission on our hands. We got a note here as well. For the past seven days, there have been some strange happenings in the nearby boulder field. A week ago, I went over there to clear my mind, as I do often, and found a strange drawing pinned to a lamppost. I took down the page and burned it, because it seemed like the best way to deal with a paranormal paper. The next night, I found even more drawings and burned them as well. I found exactly 16 drawings multiple nights in a row, and now they're accompanied by horrific, ghastly noises. I don't feel safe going out there. My best guess is the place is haunted. Maybe by our lost crew members. Maybe by something else. Ooh, spooky. Okay. So, we're gonna see what ghosts lay in wait for us. Let's just check our map, see where that actually is. Oh, that's actually far away. We might as well go and get the journal first, actually. Then go and do that other mission. Ooh, look at this place. Wait, is this where we put the eggs later in the game? I bet it is, right? This big, like, platform. It looks like a summoning area. We summon Charles here. That's gonna be cool. Yeah, so I think we have to come here probably at the end of the game. But this is where the guy's journal is, in this room. Somewhere, supposedly. Where is it? I don't see it. Oh, it's here in the back room. That's his journal, nice. Sweet! Critical item acquired. We can return to Santiago, give him his journal. But before we do that, guys, what we're actually going to do is the other mission, which is just here. The Boulder Field Pages. So let's run ourselves over there. So this is kind of like Slender the Eight Pages, isn't it? I just realized it's like a homage to that. So I wonder if as we collect these pages, we're going to start seeing, like, Slenderman appear, or something like Slenderman, you know? Some kind of, um, Easter egg to do with Slenderman. Because this is essentially exactly what Slender V8 Pages is all about. There's one page right in front of us. Oh, man, no, I bet it's Charles that spawns, isn't it? Yes, it's Slender V8 Pages, 100%. 100%. Now we've collected a page for Ghost to spawn onto the map. We need to keep looking for those eight pages, though. So, let's look everywhere we can. Oh, it's there! Look at it moving! 
All right, we gotta keep running then. Holy crap! This is a hard mission. He's fast. Wow. There's another page. There's another page. There's another page. We got it. No. No. There's another page over there. I can't believe we've got to find eight of these things. This is nuts. Oh, no, 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 no. He's so fast. Okay, there's one here. There's one here. There's one here. There's one here. Man. Where are the others? Maybe up the top of this place? I was gonna... Oh, wait. There's a page here. Where is he? Guys, I don't know where he is. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Alright, he's really close, we're gonna have to go. Drop! Wow, he's so fast. Look at him, ah! Go, 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 go! There's a page! We've got six of eight pages. He's so close, guys, how do we avoid him? I don't get it. I don't get how we avoid this thing. He got us. Oh. Wait a second. He doesn't kill us. He just transports us out of the area. But I'm guessing maybe, like, he takes the pages away, right? Or, or maybe not. I'm not sure. Oh, no. We still keep the pages. Oh, so there's not much of a penalty for this. Which is kind of good, because I feel like it could get annoying. But, um, I expected the pages to be removed from us. Look, there he is. He's crazy looking. I want to get, like, a screenshot of him. He transported us again. You can't really get a good look at him, because once he sneaks up on you, he's, like, really fast. Oh, there's a page over here. Look. There's one here. So let's take it. Ah! Stay away, you freak! Oh my god, he's there. Wow. Yeah, so every time he touches us, he teleports us somewhere. I guess the thing is that Charles could try and attack us as well. Here's the last page. We did it. We did it, guys. That took ages to find all of those. I'm glad that it didn't, um, you know, kill us every time we got caught by the ghost like in Slenderman. Because that would have just taken way too long. But yeah, I can see why the... Uh, person who was collecting these pages didn't want to come back and do this because <laughs> that was uh, pretty sketchy. So let's deliver them back to her. Thanks for bringing me those papers. There you go, Sasha. Here are some scraps for your help. Thanks. Can I get in your house now? No, that's still locked up. Don't want us to see what's in there. Okay. Um. Well, there we go, guys. We did the eight pages mission. That's actually pretty cool. A little throwback to Slenderman there. Definitely don't want to go back into that area with the ghosts again, that's for sure. Now let's upgrade. We've got 61 scraps again. What should we do? I reckon an armor and a speed. Yeah, we're on level 9 with both of those now. Nice. Okay, now we're going to go and deliver the journal to this guy here. So let's back up. See you later, Sasha. And we're off. On the Charles Expressway. So we need to go all the way back here and then we meet that sailor guy and give him his journal before he heads off to the mainland. Okay, we're here at the dock. Let's give the journal to this dude, see what happens. Thank you so much for bringing my journal. That's all right. I would hope for your own good that you didn't peek inside. I actually didn't. But, um, here are those scraps I promised. Maybe I should have done. Here are the scraps that you were promised. Okay, thanks a lot. I didn't actually peek in your journal. Maybe I should have done that. We could have got some juicy lore, perhaps. Either way, have a safe trip. Santiago, whatever your name is. Uh, have a safe trip to the mainland. Hopefully you survive and never have to see Charles again. We are going to defeat him, though, okay? Good. Right, now let's go. Oh, God. I can hear freaking Charles, guys. Let's get in. Right, we've got a note. 
I've been praying someone from the first evacuation group would just send back another boat, but I guess they all think that George's supply boat is evacuating people. They're all safe and cosy on the mainland but feel no obligation to make sure everyone else escapes. I know that Charles sinking the boat isn't something anyone would expect, but still. To think, I would have left this place now, it makes me sick. So Charles sunk their escape boat. Seems like this guy's gonna get off somehow though. Gonna find a way off the island. 51 scraps, nice. I think we'll level up our armor. There we go, fully upgraded armor. We've almost got enough to do speed as well. So yeah, a fully upgraded train pretty much. So let's see what's our next mission objective. So it looks like guys, we've got two story missions. Oh no, three story, oh yeah, we have this active story mission. Okay, so we'll do the active story mission. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, we got Charles, guys! Alright, it's time to use our rocket launcher. Boom. 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 Man, this is cool. Although, it's very slow. It's very slow to fire, but it's powerful. Right in the smacker, right in the kisser. Boom! Off you go, Charles. You freak. You eight-legged freak. Oh, we had something there. I actually want to stop there. Let me off, let me off, let me off, let me off, let me off. I want to go back. Because we had a, a storage crate, I think. Here it is. Nice. I'll take those. We can repair the train with some of those. Okay, yeah, let's repair our train's health. Oh, and max our speed. Nice. Look, we're fully maxed out on all fronts now, guys. That's not bad for episode number two of this series, is it? To fully upgrade our train. So, let's check our map one more time. We need to go forward, keep on this junction, and up to the top there. Okay, so when we get to this area on the track that I've marked, we're going to get off, guys, and then we're going to head up there to do the uh, mission at the mine. So let's stop. Perfect. We'll collect some scrap up. There we are. Let's see if there's any notes around here as well. Any of that juicy lore that we love to collect. So now we need to mark the site which is just here, the North Mine, which houses another Charles Egg. We're gonna sneak in. All right, is there anyone about? Oh yeah, we can see people patrolling in the distance. Okay, I'm gonna run. Gotta run and hide. He's right around the other side. We should be safe. Let's go into the mine. Nice and quick, nice and quick, nice and quick. Yes, we made it. We made it in. Okay. So now we just sneak into the mine. And we hope that no more of those crazy gun-wielding cultist members are down here. And they are. Of course they are. I can hear them. It's very foreboding, this mine. Let's just be careful. We can peek, of course. We need to peek. Oh, there's a drawbridge we need to lower there. We lower that down to cross. But I feel like we're going to have to go the other way first then. There's also a door here. Can this be opened? Not yet. Okay. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Can't see anyone. No, there's no one here yet. Ooh, we've got multiple ways we can go. Oh, there's a note. Make sure nobody goes near the egg. If you see anybody that shouldn't be there, shoot them immediately. No risks can be taken. As soon as it finishes, kill it and bring the body to me. That's from Warren C. the Third. Yeah, Warren was definitely up to something down here. I think he's going to go past in a minute. Let me just check. I don't see him. Should it be here? Oh my god, he's seen us. Okay. You little freak. Right quick, quick, quick. In. We got the egg. Alright, guys, we got the egg. 
Now what? Now what? I think he's uh, stopped looking for us, maybe. Sounds like there's someone over here. Is there? Yep, there's someone there. You're in the wrong place, my friend. Screw it, I'm going. I'm not risking it. There could have been lore in there, but I'm not sure. Let's just go. Oh my god, he's there! Look at him! Whoa! Alright, I'm going. Screw this. No visitors allowed! There's another! There's another! There's another! There's another! We need to get back to the train. We need to get back to the train and just destroy those things with our guns. Go, go, go! We're getting back to the train. We're gonna blow these guys away. We're gonna blow these guys away. Right. Ah! Uh, die. That's right. Anyone else want some? I don't think so. Okay, let's get off the gun. We got chased back, but we took him down. Look at him. Laying in the dirt. Look at you now. Can I take your gun? I want that gun. Unfortunately, we can't. Never mind. Right, guys. So, we've got another egg. What we're going to do now is go and do the next story quest. So, we're going to meet the NPC here. Uh, and do that. So, yeah, let's get going. All aboard. Let's go. It's such a random game, but I love it. Like, everything about this game so far has just been pure fun. Ooh, look at this. We're going into enemy territory. We've got Charles banners up there. Right, let's stop the train. Looks like we've reached our destination. Ooh, look at this. Anarirum Municipal Building. Very strange name. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. So, who's in here then? Do we have any notes? Looking for those notes because they tell us about the story, you know? We have got a note, in fact. Look. Mutiny meeting notes. I have discussed our latest battle plan with everyone and nobody had objections. The whole crew knows what to do and will set the track directions accordingly when the time comes. All the archivist, which is us, needs to focus on is pummeling that beast, keeping his distance and getting Charles to his weakest point. My father should be back within two days, at which point we can supply him and the hunter with the keys and other supplies we've gathered. We never wanted to take such harsh action against Warren and the other miners, but he's twisted our arms for too long. Charles needs to go, and Warren won't stand in our way. So they're taking the fight to Warren and Charles, and all the cultist miners, of course, that we've met in previous episodes. So I guess we head upstairs and see who's in this place. If anyone. Got another note. Stakeout summary, day three, location four. I've been staking out this area for days and Charles has never crossed the old wood bridge. Somehow that beast is cunning enough to know it's dangerous, but if he's angry and desperate, he might just chase someone across it. Then bam, we use John's bombs to blow the whole thing up and Charles falls face first into the canyon. If the blast doesn't kill him, then the fall surely will. So that's their plan to blow up the bridge as Charles crosses it and make him fall to his death. Oh, and here we go. We've got a guy. You're the archivist my father told me about. Ah, we've heard about Paul in previous episodes. Although, I'm disappointed to see that he chose to stay on the mainland rather than return with you. I've got bad news for you, buddy. He's, uh, he's pretty dead. Not to say that your help isn't appreciated, but we could have used his aid as well. If you haven't already heard from the others, the mine boss Warren is protecting dangerous monster eggs that could lead to catastrophe. While our main plan is to summon Charles into a duel and fight him to the death, we've devised a perfect trap as a precaution that may help defeat him. Go attach these remote explosives to each of the support pillars under the wood bridge out there. Then meet me back here. Okay, so we've got to blow up the bridge. So which bridge is it? Let's have a look. Ah, just behind us. Okay, we'll mark that down. Right, so, yeah, Paul, I think, is Eugene's son. But his father's died, of course. We haven't had the heart to tell him. <laughs> but uh, he'll find out soon enough, I'm sure. It's probably not the best time to tell him right now, because it might distract him from the plan. The plan at hand that we need to, of course, complete. So we need to go and attach these explosives to the support beams over here. 
It's kind of like the ending of Back to the Future 3, <laughs> if you guys have seen that movie. The Wild West one. Alright, so... That's one. Do I need to do one here? Yeah. One here. I suppose there's one more to do here. Okay, oh, there's eight we need to do, wow. Okay. So we need to do all eight. Okay, seven. Should be one more round here, and that's us done. Okay, return to Paul to complete the mission. So we need to do this, and we need to get one more egg, and then I think we can complete the game. But before I complete the game, I'm actually going to um, do the final side missions as well, guys, so you've seen everything there is to do in this game. I do like to be quite thorough with my playthroughs, as you know. That's the tallest and weakest bridge on the island. So if Charles ever crosses it, we can blow him sky high. I'll be on standby to detonate the charges, but it's still up to you to summon and fight him. Here, take this. It's the key to the temple. Once you think you're prepared enough, you can break in and fight the battle of a lifetime. Oh man, so yeah, the end game is upon us. Can we look through this? Can't look through it, no. This is how he scouts out Charles. Right, so let's have a look at our map. So what we have now... Ooh, wait. What is that? Finish it. Summon Charles with the eggs and end his reign of terror. So this is like the final quest. This is the end game. We'll do this at the very end of the video. Before we do that, we're going to do... Oh, wait. Another weapon mission. Huh. Okay, so we can get another weapon, which we'll do next. Then we've got the final egg story mission. And then we've got an NPC over here. And then we I think we've done everything after that. Although we still have this marked on the map as well. Loot Tony's Barn. Which I did, but for some reason it's still here. So we'll maybe go and check that out again. All right, let's go and do the mission for the weapon next, then. And I don't know what weapon this is going to be. Like, can't think what weapon would get from this. Oh, what is that? That's cool. There's a henchwoman here. So, Gertrude. The fabled hunter has finally arrived. You know, my late husband built a gun to help fight Charles, but Warren's goons stole the barrels and took him up to their camp. Bob was such a brave man. Much braver than you, I bet. All right. I've been fighting Charles for y all of you guys. Why are you being so mean? If you take what I have left of the gun and steal back those other parts, you can put it back together to use against Charles. Just do me one favor, will you? If you do end up using it, name it Bob in memory of my honey. Sure. In memory of your husband, it's apparently much braver than us. Thanks for that. That's locked. So it seems like this is some kind of like gun turret, right? Like a mini gun or something. So where do we go to get the barrels? Ooh, we have to go quite out of way actually to get that. So what I might as well do is get this other mission on the way. Then we go down, get this one, and then maybe go and meet this NPC as well. Oh, God. Guys, that's Charles. That is Charles. I can hear him. So, Ford. I'm actually going to bug spray him. Where is he? I actually don't see him yet. That's all right. He seems to uh, not be chasing us. I was a bit scared then for a second. Right, so apparently this is the camp we need to go to. So let's stop the train again. There's going to be men on patrol. I can see one up there, actually. This is probably going to be a tricky mission, I imagine. Oh, no. He's already seen us. Are you kidding me? What the flip? All right. What do we do? What Guys, what do we do? Um. Wow. Screw this. Ah. Oh, my God. There's so many. There's so many. There's so many. Okay, guys. What I'm going to do is get in here. And we're going to burn them. Burn them. Burn them. Burn them. 
Okay, we've burned them. Now we get the machine gun. Uh, anyone else? Wow, we just destroyed them. Look at all these dead people now. <laughs> we destroyed all the cult members. That's one way to uh, to get through this camp, I guess. Just kind of murk everyone. Well, that's kind of fun. Now we can explore at will without worrying about them. Is there anyone else? I think that's it. Ooh, what the heck? Look, we've got masks in here. That's a really weird mask. Charles masks. We've got one there. It'd be funny if we could pick one of these up and put it on the front of our train. <laughs> so we just had one of those masks on our train. So, I actually want to check around in case there's like notes in here as well. Can't get through there. See, because there's scrap in here, I think there is a way to get inside some of these houses, right? Let's try going up this tower. Oh, look. Masks all up the wall. Oh my god. Guys, I think that's Charles. Right, we've got a note here. We've been digging for over a month, and I'm beginning to wonder what we're really doing here. There are ancient stone ruins above the ground, as well as ruins being discovered underground. Some sort of temple and a large cavern was uncovered at one of the other mines. Are we really digging for gold veins? Nope, you're digging for crazy Charles eggs, I think. Oh my god, Charles is up at the top. Like, see him walking about. This mission's actually tricky. Oh, here we go, the key. This might be the key for the room downstairs. This is their sleeping quarters. Okay. Oh my god. Charles! He's coming! Can I get inside? Guys, I'm gonna try and get inside. We're inside, we're inside. Charles is outside. Look, he's trying to get us. You can't get us, Charles. You can't get in here, boy. Okay, here's the turret parts that we wanted. Look at that, we're attaching them. Nice. Bob acquired. Equip it to your train. Right, so, quickly heal the train. Nice. And then, we've got Bob equipped. So look at Bob, man. Bob is sick. Wow, it's slow to fire, but it's like super powerful. Okay. So, next mission. Let's have a look. We want to next go, I think, actually, we want to go back to do this required mission as well. So I think what we want to do is backtrack and then do the required mission. We'll back up, and if we see Charles, we'll just get on this gun and just, like, shoot him, you know? Like that. Right, let's stop the train. Here's the NPC we need to meet next. So we'll disembark. Here we go. The Archivist, in all your radiant glory. Yep, that's me. Paul entrusted me with a key to one of the mines containing an egg. But before I give it to you, I have to warn you about something. This doesn't sound good. There's an ancient shrine on the island, a pyramid of sorts, with a curious prism located at the top. The prism seems to have been designed for one purpose, to destroy monster eggs. Three slots are carved into the prism, which perfectly fit the eggs. When fully loaded, a massive beam of energy is emitted, seemingly drawn from the eggs themselves. Ooh. The mutineers hope this event will lead Charles to a mortal fight as he comes in defense of the eggs. Now for the real warning. Charles has the ability to absorb energy from the burst, strengthening and enraging him. No, so he gets more strong, like stronger and more powerful when we place the eggs down, even though he becomes mortal. We saw it once before, and he may become even more dangerous this time. However, it's not my place to oppose, despite the danger. So, here's the mind key. Thanks, man. have retrieved all the eggs and the key to the shrine. We might just be able to end this hell. Sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you for the key. Um, we got a note as well. Let's read it. This is a long note it's from Gale. At last night's meeting, Greg told us of a crazy conspiracy about Warren trying to use the spider trains for world domination. As part of a crew that worked in the temple, I'm far from convinced. 
While the prism was extracting the life energy from a batch of eggs, Charles attacked us for the first time. Not only did he fight like hell while the eggs were being destroyed, but he nearly doubled in size as he fought, as if he were consuming the energy. His legs grew larger and stronger, while his face grew even more distorted, right before our very eyes. Those of us who survived couldn't even fathom what we had witnessed. That was when Warren hid the eggs and ordered us to protect them. That was when he began evacuating people. That was when everything turned for the worst. I know Warren has plenty of skeletons in his closet, but I can't help thinking he might actually be looking out for us this time. Yes, and maybe Warren isn't bad. Maybe by doing this kind of ritual with the eggs, we actually cause more harm than good, you know? So where is the final mine we need to go to? It's actually a fair way away. It's just over here. So we can go to the mine. We can also do the optional side quest. So let's stop the train like here between the two points. All right. Off we go then. Another mission. Another day, another dollar as they say. Life on the rails. Okay, we're approaching the area now where we need to get off. So I'll probably stop in a minute. We'll just go up this hill a little bit more. Here we go. Stop the train. So guys, what do we do first? We can either go to the mine first or the NPC optional mission. I think I'll do that one first. It does require us to make a bit of a hike across the map, but you know, I'm just going to take the risk because I really want to do all the side missions, but I don't want to travel all the way around the other side of the map just to do this one. So we'll just take a run for it and hope that we uh, survive. Yeah, look, it leads down into like some tunnels here, into some canyons. Ooh, look at this giant structure. This is cool. So where is the person we need to meet? Probably in one of these houses, right? That's locked. Oh, he's, he's right over there, actually. Let's have a speak to this guy. Hey, man. Hey. Ronnie. Aren't you the new guy who's come here to work for us? Yep. You must be. There's something at the top of these towers that I need. And don't worry, I won't make you work for free. <laughs> I'm a nice enough guy to pay you. You see, Mr. Warren never told anyone from the mainland about his mining operation here. He never even reported the cave-in. He hasn't paid us since then. Our living quarters are atrocious, and I'm far overqualified for the pay I'm supposed to receive. To top it all off, none of us miners ever received copies of our pepperwork. But that doesn't affect my subordinates as much as someone with my... I'm gonna sue the pants off of Warren once I escape this island, and I need those files to prove that he breached our contract. He keeps all his files at the top of these towers. I could explain how I ascertained this, but I doubt it would make sense to you. Problem is, he erected these towers years before we ever started mining, and now they're falling apart. I could scale them myself, but since you're here, go sniff around for those files. <laughs> As a reward, you can have one of my useless pieces of scrap. I bet you'd love to have it. <laughs> I don't think this guy's scaling anything. No offense, but you know. He's been waiting for someone to come along and and do the work for him. So we need to get the files from the top of this tower and we need to scale it. So it's kind of like a, a bit of a platforming mission, this one, I think. So let's do it. I'm interested to see what comes of this. If we get like just scrap or maybe something a bit more than that. Uh, okay, so we gotta do some jumping. Yeah. Okay, we made it. Jump number one done. Oh, can we go down here now actually? I think so. Oh, a paint can. Lime paint can added. Nice. I think we only need one more paint can and then we've got all of them. Anything in here? Ah, oh, yeah, look. I think we jump up here. We jump up the side of these crates. Ah, this is actually tricky. Okay, onto here. Nice. We're getting quite high now. In the game. <laughs> Climbing quite high, I should have said. I can hear Charles in the distance. I don't think he can get us this high up though, right? Go around here. Where do we go now? Do we have to jump again? Oh man, I think we have to jump, guys, to that. That's actually a hard jump to make. Ah! 
Yes, we made it. We made it. We made it. That was actually tricky. We can jump that way as well. Oh, we've got a child somewhere. <laughs> I think he's running down below us. I don't think he can get up to us, though, so it's all good. We've got a note here. Setting the foundation for this operation has been considerably more complicated than I expected. Not only by cost, but the logistics of construction and delivery of supplies to the primary mine sites. We'll need to strike gold fast if we want any chance to avoid bankruptcy. So that Warren's mines were in trouble. Maybe this is why he uh, decided to go with Charles, you know? We can drop down that way, but I don't know that we want to yet. I think we want to maybe jump across here instead. Oh no, Charles is down there! Don't fall down, because Charles is below. <laughs> He's going to eat us if we do. Alright, we're getting high now, guys. Really high up. That's locked. I hate that it's just below us, you know. Oh, here's the files. This is what we wanted. Nice. Critical item acquired. The files. Right, guys, he's gone. Now we can deliver the notes to this dude. He went into hiding, I think, when Charles came. That's actually kind of cool. So the characters react to Charles. You look like a monkey climbing those towers. <laughs> All right, I man, sure calm down. Glad I found these files. Here's that scrap you were begging for. Don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> Shut up. I'll spend it wherever I wish. Okay, so now we need to head back to the train. Hopefully we don't run into Charles on the way back, because he is roaming this area. He is, like, circling it like mad. But I'm just going to have to hope we can uh, reach the train in time, because once we reach that train, we'll be fine. 145 meters. Oh! I feel like we're not going to reach it. I'm not even going to look around me. <laughs> I'm just going to run. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, I think we've made it. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Cool. So now we want to mark on our map this location to the mine. Get the final egg. Once we've got this egg, guys, we can go to the end. Because I think we've done all the side quests now. Yeah, look. Here's the mine. We've got a camp over there. So we just need to sneak inside. Oh, hurt ourselves. Open sesame. And down we go into the mine. Alright. This is kind of spooky. Can't hear anybody whistling yet, so we should be safe. Oh, spoke too soon. Get him out of here. Oh my god. Alright, this one is tricky from the start, because we've already got a guy chasing us. Ah! What's that guy? Over there! You know what? Actually, no. Wow, okay. Yeah, let's get out. Let's get out. Maybe we can lure these guys to the surface. Him, I should have been very, very stealthy, and I wasn't. Catch him! The only thing I can think to do is maybe see if we can take them back to the train. Are they going to come out? Oh my god. What the hell? Holy crap. Guys, they're everywhere. I don't know what to, I don't know what to do. I don't know if they're still in the mine or if they both ran out. I'm just going to have to run back in. I'm running this way. Screw it. I'm just going in. <gasps> Is that guy over there? Maybe not. I don't know. I think we're, I think we're okay. I think we might have uh, duped them, you know? Right. We've got an elevator going down by the look of it. So let's take that. Yeah, we've got to go down. Feels very Dark Soulsy this mine. Like something out of uh, Elden Ring or something, you know? Okay. Oh, there's one. He's going that way. So if we sneak this way, hopefully we'll be okay. We just take the tunnel down here. Oh, this is a dead end. Fantastic. Can I hide behind here? Yeah, look, we've got a guy there. 
Okay, go. Go, 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 go. Here's the final egg. Look at it. The last egg we need. Let's take it. Right, now where do we go? There's so many different ways. Alright, I'm just going to go this way. There's a chest over here that we can open, actually. Let's open it up. A little lockpicking action. Nice! First time. Oh, the final paint can. Sweet, and so now we can leave. I think that's the final paint can. Maybe not, but either way, we're getting quite a few paint cans at this point. And out we go. Look at this. Get out of here. Get out of here. My pleasure. My pleasure. There's our train down there. I also heard Charles's uh, whistle blowing then. We've got all the eggs, guys. We've got all the eggs. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Wish you never came here. Get this guy. You'll wish you never came here. Where are you? Man, this is really slow. It's really powerful, but it's really slow. Oh my god. Alright. Guys, we gotta we gotta go. Go, 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 go. Alright. Here we train up. And where is Charles? Oh, he's behind us. So this is very slow, but it's very powerful. Look at that. Right, now we switch out and we put on this one. I'm shooting with this. I'm going to switch all weapons. I'm going to keep going. We'll burn him with this one now. And now we'll use this rocket launcher. And we'll blow him up with a rocket launcher. So there we go. We've used every weapon on him. And that's him gone. Screw you, Charles. We live to fight another day. All right, let's just stop. Ooh, how's a good battle? A well-fought battle, guys. Actually, we're missing quite a few paint cans. You can get loads. Look, we got a red train. I've always wanted a red train. The devil train, we'll call it. This is what we used to battle Charles, guys, in the final death match. But first, I want to see what we have left to do on the map. So we have finish it. This is the last mission. We'll do that soon. We've only got this mission for some reason. This didn't, like, complete for me. I don't know if it bugged or if I'm just missing something on there. But what I'll do is we'll take the train all the way back to this area. And then we'll loop around and do the final mission, okay? So I'm not going to show you the whole trip round, but I'll cut to when we get back here. We've reached our destination. I'm going to speak to this guy because I don't know if it's because I didn't speak to him again. That the side mission didn't complete, but it doesn't seem like it. So we need to go up to his little barn and continue to loot it. Because apparently the side mission did not complete for me here. So let's check the barn out again and see if we missed anything. Oh, scrap farm seven of nine. Ah, yeah, we didn't complete it. I see. So we need to find the final missing pieces of scrap. There's one. Where's the last one? Ah, oh, it's there. We did it. Okay, yeah, so now we've done that mission. So that's all it was, guys. We were just missing two pieces of scrap. Okay, well, uh, I've shown it you in the video just so that you've seen that mission complete, but it wasn't much of a mission. Now let's have a look. Our final mission, guys, is here. So what we want to do is go up to this point and change the track to the left, and then go to the summoning of Charles. So yeah, I'm going to get back on the train, guys, and I'll see you there. Right, here we go. The final stop, our final destination. We'll say goodbye to the hell train for now, our red hell train. And we're going to make our way up to the final area, which is just here. So I'm going to mark that down. The rainstorm is kicking in. What a setting for our final battle. Here we go. Oh my god, there's people here. I didn't realize there's going to be people here. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're in. We're in, we're in, we're in. Let's interact with this. Okay, the final mission. 
Ooh, we got all three eggs. We have to place them down, I think. Ooh, one egg in. Two eggs in. And the final egg. Step away from the oh god. Stranger. You don't know That's Warren what Charles. Doing. Just put the egg down slowly and lay flat on the ground. No. You hurt far too many people if you follow through with whatever you're planning. Screw this. We've got to do it, guys. No! No! You fool! You Have I doomed everyone? Yeah, I've doomed us all. Oh no! Charles is going to become super powerful now. <laughs> Look, he just crawled through the ceiling like an actual spider. That's nuts. He's getting super powerful now. Oh my god. Alright, we gotta go, guys. We gotta go. I'm very scared. They're like, ah! Holy crap. It ate Warren Charles. No way. Holy crap. Okay, Warren is dead. He's gotten eaten by Charles. Go. Alright, the final battle. Shoot him until he's dead. Boom. Boom. Hell Charles. Wow. Okay, yeah. Alright, our train health is going down, guys. Alright, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to heal up. So now we get on a different gun and we shoot him. Go, 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 go! We're taking Hell Charles down. He's gone. Oh, we've got one of his stages done, I think. Holy crap. Okay. Keep going. This is cool. This is a cool battle. Look at this. Boom. Um, Alright, I've spent all our ammo, so we change to the flamethrower and we get on the flamethrower. We've got him again. And again. The flamethrower is actually really good for, like, keeping him back. Nice. I don't know if we have to maybe defeat him before we get to the bridge. So now let's get on uh, let's get on the bob gun. The bob gun's like super powerful. There we go. Shoot his face with a bob gun. Nice. <laughs> Look at this. This is insane. All right, he's gone again. Where's he coming from now? Here. Okay. Shoot him with a bob gun. Bob gun is OP. Nice. Come on, keep shooting him. Okay, we're doing well so far, guys. I'm going to get on a different weapon. I'm going to also heal up. Uh, this weapon. Rocket launcher. Boom. Yes. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So far, so good. We've almost got him as well. I think we have to maybe defeat him before we get to the bridge. Oh, no. We keep missing him. Okay, we got him. And again. And again. And again. Yes. Right, guys, I'm going to switch our weapon up again. Switch up. Burn him with a flamethrower. This will keep him back. Yes, I think we got him. Now he's chasing us still. Okay, we got him. Have we killed him? Let's keep burning him, keep burning him. Yeah, we're at the bridge. Look, they're blowing up the bridge, guys. That's sick. We got him. We blew up Charles. Yeah, boy. We took down that stupid spider train. Wow, and his face gets splatted on the uh, on the spike there. Poor Charles. Kind of feel sorry for him a little bit. That was it. The end. I feel like that's maybe like not the good ending, right? That's like the ending you get if um, maybe you do the wrong thing. I don't know. Because it instantly just ends. Which is kind of like fair play, but I feel like there's got to be a different way. Because like Warren Charles warned us not to use the eggs, right? And other people were saying, oh, you could use the eggs, but maybe like there's a different way to handle this. So I feel like maybe there is another way... But we could go about doing the end of this game. 
But we're going into the cave now. There's another egg down there. Oh, wait. Maybe there's a way we can find this egg before the end of the game or something. I don't know. Or well, this could just be setting up a sequel. It's a new child being born, right? Oh god, it's, it is going to be another child, isn't it? It's going to hatch out. A little spider train minion. Wow, oh my god, there's loads of eggs. There's a whole spider's nest down here in the caverns. Wow. That is a lot of Charles eggs. Charles has been a busy boy. Or girl, I guess it could be Charlie, right? It's laying eggs. Wow. So that was Choo Choo Charles, guys. We defeated Charles and we saved the people on the island, but it does seem like in the process we brought about the end of Warren and the mining company. And as I said before, I don't know if there's like an additional ending we can unlock, but for now, I think that's where I'm gonna end my playthrough of this game. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really cool. We got all the side content done. So this has been like a full in-depth playthrough. The only thing I haven't unlocked potentially, if there are some, would be like additional endings. But with that said, this has been a really cool game. I hope you enjoyed my playthrough of it. We defeated Charles, we took him down. We fully upgraded our train. We did all the side quests. And I feel like you've seen a lot of what this game has to offer on my playthrough. So I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. If you did enjoy Choo Choo Charles, remember I will leave a link down below. So if you want to pick up the game for yourselves, you can do that. And thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, remember to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you on the next one.